What's going on YouTube? This is Reason Inferno. So I'm here to talk to you guys today about how to beat Rescue Rabbit. Um, sorry my voice is a little whack. Um, I haven't been feeling well the past two days. Um, but uh, here to make a video just to start to help everyone prepare for uh, YCS Long Beach. So the next few videos are going to be talking about how to beat the top tier decks. Um, what in your main deck is especially good against it. Um, and what to side. So... Oh, as a side note, um, while I was sick, I was watching like different YouTubers and um, and just doing other things in general, just sitting at home, but um, happened on a channel, um, a pretty big channel actually, um, I'm not going to say any names, but, and I was watching the video, and I was like, how to be Dino Rabbit, I'm like, oh, that's good, I was going to make a video about this anyway, let's watch it, and I watched it, and I watched it, and I was like, um, this guy is really condescending. Like he's talking, de he's talking. It sounds like he's talking, like down to people, and I'm just like, man, I don't know how his subscribers put up with something like this. Like he it makes them sound like noobs, and like he doesn't know how to, the people don't know how to play things like that. And I'm just like, okay, I would never do that to my YouTubers. Like, I know everyone started as a noob at some point, um, even if you are right now, um, and you watch my videos, it's a good way to learn. I really want you guys to learn from my videos, um, don't really want to put anyone down, and if I did before, I apologize, I don't think I have, but, um, yeah, but anyways, uh, if you know who I'm talking about, or the person, um, just give me an extra comment, or extra, like, like my video, something like that, because, man, I watched that, and I was like, I'm not a noob, but I feel like he's talking down to me. So anyway, um, let's start. So Rescue Rabbit is a really powerful deck um, in the way that it's really, it's it's an anti-meta deck. People don't realize, like people don't like to say it, but it's an anti-meta deck with really big beaters or really strong negators. Um, instead of running Kokimura Guardian and Doom Caliber Knights, you're running Lagia and Dolka, which are really good. Um, so, <clears throat> people just don't realize. Um, the best cards in the main deck for um, against the Dino Rabbit matchup, if you're running a very, like, ex expensive, if you're running, like, the meta decks right now, um, you have Max C's, Veilers, and Fiendish Chains. Um, the Max C's are pretty good against Dino Rabbit. Um, the thing is that um, if you discard... Max C for the Rescue Rabbit. Sure, it's a plus one, but honestly, um, it takes. It's not exactly a plus one. It is a plus one in the sense that you discard Max C when the special rabbit, I mean, banish rabbit, then Cobblezool, two Cobblezools come out, you draw a card, so even, and then you send, then you draw another one when they uh, exceed. But in the literal sense, it's a plus one, but Loggy is also a plus one. So it negates it. So Maxi just evens you out, um, which is not necessarily bad, but it's not a plus like you think. And then if they make a Dolka and they have somewhere to protect it, technically it's a you're still down a card. Granted, you do draw more, so it's you should not Maxi them. You should Maxi them, but I'm just saying um, it's not necessarily the best card. Um, when it is good, however, is when you Maxi a Tour Guide and they already have a Rabbit removed. Because if they go all the way through, which most likely they won't because that's a huge plus for the person who max seed. Um, but if they do, or they have to, it is a plus four. Uh, Torrid into Tor Guide, you discard max seed, draw one, so you're even. Uh, XYZ into Levier, you're plus one. Levier into Rabbit, plus two. Rabbit into two dinosaurs, plus three. Two dinosaurs into a exceed, plus four. Okay, so you're at a plus four right now. And, um, so Maxi could be really good, but most likely a Dino Rabbit player is not going to do that. The Torrent is sanging and just stop or something like that. Um, so I don't really like um, Maxi is a good card, I guess, but it's not the best card against Dino Rabbit. Um, another card, Effect Veiler, it's not really useful in the in the matchup. The one thing it's best for is good against Tor Guide. Uh, you veil a Tor Guide, and that's pretty good. But everything else is not that good. So um, I would side out my Veilers. In this matchup, um, Fiendish Chains. Fiendish Chains are really good 
in the matchup. Um, the reason why is Phoenix Chain can stop Logia and Dolka. So, um, let's say your opponent goes first and they go Logia, um, set, go. And then you're like, okay. And then you didn't have, or even if you had a Mexi, or you have cards, whatever. You look at your hand, you're like, hmm. I have Torrent. Uh, now you can run two Torrentials, right? So you set Torrential, Fiendish Chain, or something like that. Yeah, Torrential, Fiendish Chain, Mirror Force, Fiendish Chain, something. Okay, pass. So, they go. And they're like, oh, I opened the nuts. I'm, I'm not afraid. If they're warning, they're warning. Tour Guide. And they go, Tour Guide into Sand Gang. XC, Levier. Response? Nope. Okay. Effect? Special. Rabbit. Effect? Two, say, another two dinos. And then you Torrential. And then they go, Loggy in the gate, of course. And then you go, Fiendish Chain. They're like, crap. And you just blew the whole field. What you really have to understand about the Rabbit matchup is that you want to make sure that you outlast them. It's sort of the same thing against windups. If you can outlast windups and rabbits, um, those are two early game decks. If you can outlast them, you can probably beat them. Because the only way they can replenish the resources is if they pot of avarice. And um, what an inexperienced rabbit or um, windup player will do is they'll use up all their resources way too quickly. Like they'll use if they have factory, they'll abuse it and get sharks like add all their sharks to their hand and use them all really quickly and then later they'll realize crap I need shark I need another shark in my hand because I'm running out of pl I ran out of plays okay I can't make five like I wanted to right now um, so it's really important to outlast windups and rabbits and the way you can outlast rabbits is just I mean you just have to learn to play rabbits um, if you don't have that many rabbit players at your locals find him if you have to schedule an appointment with them play with them because you have to learn the intricacies of the deck when they're slower when they're faster um, you have to learn to play against it um, that's what I always like to do play against it not and just not not just on dual network as well but in person because you also have to learn how to read people it's sort of like playing poker I don't that's why I never play poker online because I can't read people I just play my cards which is sort of stupid like um, in a re in real life, like I'd play people and I could read them, or I think I could read them, right? So I could actually like pro play. Like if they play really conservative, I can know that, and I can like pro play heavy or something like that. You know, like I can do different things depending on different players. So uh, really play in person if you can. And now, um, sorry, I went a little off topic. And now it's to side decking. Um, what in your side deck's really good against Dino Rabbits? So, uh, Snowman Eater is a really good card to side in against Dino Rabbits because, um, let's say they don't draw that good a hand and they have like Saber Sources and Thunder Kings and things like that. Um, Snowman Eater pops Thunder Kings and Snowman Eaters. I mean, and uh, Saber Sources and Cobbazools as well. Um, also, Drag Yuba can't run over it. And um, if their Logia attacks into Snowman Eater, you can destroy it. And also, um, why I like Stoneman Eater better than Fossil is because if they draw a bad hand, because let's just say, again, if you had a Fossil, and you go first and you set it, and then they go summon Thunder King, attack it, you're like, okay, that's not good. Like, um, so it's not the best. Uh, I like Stoneman Eater a lot more. Um, some people will say Jiu Jitsu, I don't know really why. Um, because again, it's only 18 defense. Snowman Eater is 19. So if they, uh, if you Thunder King attacking the Snowman Eater, you pop their card, and um, they don't get, and then your Snowman Eater die, uh, stays, but Jujutsu would die. So uh, yeah, Snowman Eater is really is a lot better. Um, then if you're not main decking your Space Typhoons, uh, all three, you should side in your third one. Um, again, it's also for good to bait out um, the Rabbit like their logias, you want to make their logias like ineffective as soon as possible. So that's important. Um, then you can s side that uh, Black Horn of Heavens, those are good against um, when they go Torgon into something or Rabbit into something. T Black Horn of Heavens really good. And <coughs> yeah, it's starting to catch up with me. And um, 
I have one more card, and I'm blanking right now. Sorry. So, um, I'll write it in the description below, but this is getting to me, and I need to, like, <coughs> go use the bathroom. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, a little embarrassing, but, all right, thanks, guys. Um, if you have any more comments and stuff, just put in the comments. All right, Three's Inferno signing out.